Jonathan Otero with J&J Management Group and We Buy Houses Seminole and we just bought a house in Seminole County. There it is right behind me right there. Uh, we are going to flip this property and I want to take you on a little before and after tour. So this will be the before video because as of tomorrow, uh, my crew is going to be here and they're going to be demoing a lot of the stuff and taking, taking this property um, from from what it is today to one of the nicest houses on the block so what i'm going to do is flip the camera around so you can see that i'm going to walk you through some of the stuff we're going to be doing this actual this property is a reverse flip this property is going to be a lot of the the stuff is going to be done on the outside so uh there's dad in the background yeah, you know you've seen him on a couple other videos there we're looking at this one here now and just going over some of the final last minute stuff as tomorrow they're going to do the demo so let me take you and show you what this house looks like before and kind of point out some of the things that we're going to be doing and go from there all right so here's the front of the house and there's dad again i'm going to looking it over making sure that everything's all good say hi dad all right so now here's the front of the house okay there's the two-car garage and i want to actually see if you guys can figure out what's missing in the front of this house let me take a step back. Can you tell what's missing? I know there's a car there. It might be blocking it. Let me actually walk on the other side of that car. There's a garage. And there's windows. What's missing? No front door. That's a big problem, right? So we're going to have to take care of that. And what we're going to do, what happened here is this garage door is down. But this used to be a carport and whoever it was down the line converted that carport into a two-car garage and you would park your car under the carport and you'd walk in the doors right in there i'll show you that a little bit later and you'd walk into the rest of the house so uh we're gonna have to make that window a front door so we're gonna put a front door with two side lights right over there and close that all up and make it look nice and pretty so you can walk through your front door through there uh we're also gonna patch up all the stucco here and the same time we're going to knock down all that siding because that siding is bad and messed up dented and cracked and we're going to put stucco around that garage as well uh, we're going to get rid of this pond that pond's no longer going to work or that little waterfall or whatever that is that's going to be gone as well as this huge cactus that's some of the landscaping stuff that we're going to do and take care of some of these patches that are no longer working also this big tree right here if I stand in front of this tree, you can't see the house. So we're gonna, you know, from the sidewalk, so it doesn't have a good curb appeal. So we're gonna trim that tree around the bottom and we're gonna open it up so you can see the house and see right through. Uh, let me take you around here. So like I said, the stuck, this is gonna be new stucco here. Let's knock down this, make this flat. This is actually, believe it or not, this garage, this is the front door. Right now you can see the numbers there and there's a doorbell. We're going to change that and get rid of that. These gutters are going to be taken down because these gutters here are no good. They're all dented and messed up. As you can see, there's some gutters that are missing right over there. So we're going to knock down these gutters and put new ones here. Fix that. This uh, garage door is going to be replaced and fixed. And put a brand new garage door here. This door was damaged during Hurricane Irma. I guess uh, a branch from one of these trees or whatever came hit that down there and messed it all up so we're going to fix that and take care of that as well as we're going to paint the whole exterior replace the style fits and do that whole thing so let me take you around here real quick on the exterior keep on going so now you're on the inside here is the back of the garage again take down the siding put some stucco going to fix these patches in the cement over here yeah, this siding has to come down because take a look at this. This is all loose and messed up, so that has to be repaired and fixed. This is inside the garage. All this stuff is going to be emptied out. Uh, and that's your front door. That was the front door of what used to be the carport. And as you can see, this used to be the exterior. There's stucco there, and this was built afterwards. So electricals have to be taken care of. And see, that's not up to code. That will never pass. So we are going to have to fix this up a lot. See, that's the exterior there, and that's your front door of your house. So it's inside the garage. 
as you can see that's not going to work and that's the inside of the house yeah, i'll take you in a second but let me just finish up the exterior here this chain link fence is going to have to go so you can walk right through this window was replaced but they never put flashing on it they never put the frame on it and water is just going through right there and that's not good and there is a little beehive so i don't want to get stung but yeah all that has to be fixed patches all the patches have to be taken care of and painted again removing the stucco removing the soft and i'm removing the soft it's painting that over removing the gutters those gutters are not going to work there and then you walk into your screen enclosure to your pool now this pool is really nice uh just needs to be power washed it needs to be sealed and painted this pool deck Obviously the screens from again Hurricane Irma I did some damage on this bad boy So we're gonna have to fix all the screens like that Because there is no screen there. It's missing. So we're gonna have to replace that and Take care of all those problems. Yeah, that screen over there fix that whole thing So this is this whole pool area is gonna look completely different when we're done with it um, Again, we're gonna we're gonna see it. We're gonna pressure wash it seal it and paint it uh, this door is going to be taken care of we're going to put a new door here because this door is all warped and messed up see the siding that's just not going to work uh what else we got here that was a patch that was never completed on the exterior so we're going to have to fix that and stucco it some stuff that needs to be done on the top there as you can see this soffit is loose that's not going to work either here is your laundry room the laundry room those panels are going to have to be replaced and fixed that's not going to pass any type of inspection the water heater is actually in pretty good shape but you can see there's some drywall work has to be done there uh some patches and stuff like that has to be done you can see behind the uh washing machine so all that stuff's gonna have to be taken care of this door another thing that you have to do uh when you're looking at homes and you have to see what you're going to be you know what your scope of work is going to be check uh, take a look at those electrical panels those panels uh i don't know why there's so many first of all but those panels are old and have to be replaced they're not up to code there's a bunch of issues with the conduit the electric uh, i'll show you on the other side there but um the wires are not covered properly and it's just not going to pass code so let me take you around this uh this shed is going to be demoed because that shed is just rotting and not good again you see the uh You see the, uh, what do you call it, the um, the damage to the screen that Hurricane Irma did. But the pool's nice. They have a nice little fringe door that you can walk out to there. It's pretty, pretty nice there. So let me just take you through, keep it going. Got the fence here. All this is gonna be cut down. We're gonna throw some weed and feed, kill some of these weeds. Now, this chain link fence is gonna go. This is not supposed to be here. I don't know why it's there, but it's gonna go. And this was where the original fence used to be, if you could see that there, and it was wide open. They moved the fence to here. Again, the story goes, I guess these two houses, this is my house here. And the neighbor's house, which is in foreclosure also, and that's, got, that's empty. Um, apparently, the owners at one point were family relatives, and they knocked the fence down here so they could have a nice big yard. And at some point, whenever the house was sold, um, they put a fence up here, and really the fence should have gone all the way back here. So, if you look, here's my property line where this fence is. And... I'm missing all that property that's right there because that chain link fence. We're going to knock that fence out and fix it up. All right, it is what it is. So that soffit's going to be replaced there. Some of that, those windows there. And we, we just bought an ATV. So if you want an ATV, it's yours if you want it as well. Just give me a call. Send me a private message on my... Uh, on my YouTube channel, on my Instagram, and it could be yours. As well as that motorcycle over there. <laughs> oh, and that lawnmower engine. And the lawnmower engine, too. Right there. Alright, so let's, uh, that's the outside, and we're going to show you the inside. 
All right, so now here's with the garage door open. We open that garage door up and you can see that it's uh, dented right here. So that's gonna be replaced. But like I said before, this is the front door of the house now, even though it's inside of the garage. So we're gonna replace that and we're gonna put a new front door right over there. Uh, but let me take you on to the inside of the house, which uh, the people that we bought this house from are actually still in process of moving. They're gonna be moving today. So um, in here, this is like the mud room. We're gonna just put some baseboards there and finish the tile work over here and cover that up and finish it and make it look nice. And you walk into the house. Here is the living room. Um, that's an eat-in kitchen area. And I know that kitchen, you can't really tell, but it's actually a really nice kitchen. You can kind of see the granite. Um, they spend a lot of their money on the inside of the house. Uh, which is fine with me because that's less work that I have to worry about doing. I could spend my focus my time on the outside, but this this is the kitchen area and it'll look really nice when we're all done with it. Um, and then there is your your French doors to your pool, which is nice. Uh, this is the master bedroom right now, and I'm gonna keep it that way. But you can see that this is the master. Still has a lot of stuff right now that needs to be moved but we'll get rid of that and then in here is the master bathroom which is in decent shape again just need some minor stuff some caulking right over there on the sink but the tub's in good shape the tile's in good shape this we're gonna have to fix up this closet this is your closet where you'll be um uh putting your clothes just gotta see what this is here yeah we'll fix all that up and that's the door out there to go to your pool again that we're going to change out. So this is the master and the master suite with the master bath. And then you again, you walk to the other side of the house here, down the hallway. Obviously, the interior is going to be painted a different color. Uh, you have bathroom number two, which is also in decent shape. As you can see there, pretty decent. Just got to clean it up. We're going to have to put bifold doors here. This is a linen closet where you put your towels and stuff. No bifold is there, so we'll put that there. Also in that closet, we're going to need to put a new bifold door. This is bedroom number three, smallest bedroom in the house. And then this is bedroom number two, um, which is actually bigger than the master. I'm not crazy about that, but I have to dance with who I brought. And this is going to be second bed bedroom here. Now inside this closet needs a lot of work here because as you can see they put a brand new air conditioner here which is great the ac is great the problem was it's bigger than the ac that was there before so they had to cut the hole bigger and they never finished up the drywall work so we're gonna have to fix that and get that up to code because that ac is sitting on two by fours and that will never pass inspection so we're gonna have to fix that put a new base and as well as this panel this is an fp electrical panel which no longer is um, acceptable or approved, would never pass an inspection, especially for FHA, um, because I guess there was a lawsuit on there, and one time these breakers would, would uh, go off and it would start a fire. So these are no longer acceptable, but this is an old FP panel, and so we're gonna have to get rid of that panel. It looks like the AC comes into it, so we're gonna have to run the electrical back to the other side of the house where you saw those other panels, and put one nice, uh one nice clean panel up there so we'll get approved so that's going to be gone and of course the drywall work is going to be done and fixed and we're going to cover that this is the the pipe for the ac uh to get rid of the water i don't know how that ever got permitted but that's what it is and we're gonna have to fix it so that's the interior of this house and that's what we're gonna have to do um hopefully you like it and can't wait for you guys to see when we're done with it